Hi YouTube. I hope you're all doing good. Excuse my lighting. Um, it's uh, if I have my um one above, it's just the light. I'm not in the right position right now to make anything really right for my lighting. So excuse that. Treat it like a podcast. Just you know, or <laughs> you know, it's just. It doesn't shine me in my best light, you know, but oh well, you know, it's been quite the day and um, Brucey's All Channel, I did tell Doug, you said hi, he said thank you, he appreciated it, and he did dig quite a bit. He did have to get on the tractor, he got his truck stuck, he was trying to go um, to town to get more gas to dig us out of this um because I guess we have more coming in from what I understand. I'm not sure, but perhaps. But I'm going to touch on a very touchy topic subject today that might get a lot of people fired up or not. But either way, um, the way I feel is being an example for my children and their children and the other people in the world, if they think like I do that's you know, for me that's a good thing and if they don't for you that's probably a good thing too so either way I don't have an argument it's like here's my house there's your house and what you do there is cool and just don't try and bring it into mine type of thing that's that's where I'm at with a lot of stuff so uh just a moment um I'll tell you how I got in this attitude <laughs> keep in mind um a lot of people love to study psychology but i don't know if they really had a reason to when they were a kid or if they started when they were a kid and perhaps they did but when it goes into combining the world's ethics and psychology and what's going on in the world, the way the world is really funky. I'm not really going to take a lot of stock in somebody else's interpretations of the scriptures when I know what is true in my heart and in my soul and what is healthy. So um, I'll just leave it there on that. Um, I need to kind of ruminate for a second here on how I'm going to word this. I mean, I don't care if I offend anybody. I'm good at that anyway. Um, I really don't. But if you're not offended, all the better, you know, <laughs> so that's good too. But anyway, well, I was listening to a Lionel's Nation. He had two of them this morning that was on marriage and what constitute a marriage by law in our United States from an attorney's point of view. That also went to Catholic Jesuit school when he was a kid. And, um, and I, th there's a point to me making that statement too that I'll get to in a second here. So um, he's talking about, you know, and, and there was no reason to even bring this up as far as I'm concerned. The law is the law. And whatever your opinion is of the law, that's well and fine. Or, I mean, what you can prove, what is the law? Okay. But when you go telling me your interpretation of the scriptures and, and finalizing it, endo finito, what I say goes because you think your interpretation of the scripture is superior. Well, then I got a problem with that, you know. So what was said was, and, and of course, okay, in Sodom and Gomorrah, that that was destroyed because, not because they were sodomizing each other, but because of the way the guests, the, the people that came into the city were treated 
um, the angels that went into the city were offered up by the people in Sodom and Gomorrah to the Sodomites. What does that sound like? God damn you and your fucking bullshit. And then I had to point out, or maybe not God damn you, God damn your bullshit. Okay, so um, not you. The person that's going to listen to this later because he watches me, like my statement, what hill, you know, pick the hill you want to die on. And then magically what I had made a video with that title just happened to be going around from people who usurp my information and run with it. But that's, you know, that's okay if you're actually going to communicate and talk like a human being to people, but it's not okay when you don't give credit where credit's due. That part sucks, you know. So anyway, back to my point, I told them, you know, people want to pick and choose the parts of the scripture that suit them. They don't want to go into the six other times or more that it's mentioned that a man shouldn't lay with a man or whatever. And then I went in to explain the health ramifications is where the kids come in and my personal preference, but that's neither here nor there either in the whole scheme of things. But um, quite seriously and without any embarrassment, Oral and anal sex causes health ramifications that people do not grasp and are not willing to teach. And that bothers me. Now, um, some medical students or people that have been in that area professional, you know that uh, like the candia bug, um, is brought on from sugar and sugars through semen or vaginal discharge and that type of thing. And, and body excrement and all of the mixture of everything. And yeah, if y'all think that it doesn't say the missionary position for a reason, I'm just telling you there actually are health reasons for these precautions and that's what's what's taught in the scriptures if it were to be taught right and there's parts that were omitted how a maiden it was in psalms and it has been taken out it was a poem of how and the and the uh, dark cabal jews do have this i've read it of how a maiden is to wash herself and keep herself clean and that type of information of being with the same sex is also included within those scriptures. And that's where we get keeping our hands clean. That actually was in that scripture. I am going to try and locate it. Now that I've said it, maybe somebody will be able to produce that for me. But um, I looked for it. In fact, I asked a couple of rabbis, actual rabbis, if they could instruct people on that, and they wouldn't do it. So, yeah, I'm a little pissed because people want to pick and choose. You want to quote out of scriptures, and then you're going to pick and choose what suits you, and then tell me your interpretation, and then tell me that we have friends that are gay couples and they're monogamous to each other. Well, that's nice. As long as they're not doing things. I mean, as a straight person, no little child should know what my preference, my sexual preference is anyway. So why is everybody so loud and proud about your bullshit? Why not just shut the fuck up and leave the kids to surmise their own uh conclusions in the end of everything, right? Plus, 
what is taught within our homes and our households and the ethics and the standards that we individually desire in our lives or don't desire in our life. It's not something I personally want to hang around is a bunch of queers because it's queer to me. And I mean, it's not that I won't talk to anybody, be friend or even get along because I have people watching me right now that are um, gay or bisexual or it, it has nothing to do with this push for the hate train bullshit. It has to do what I individually want taught within my home and what I want around me. I mean, let's put it this way. It doesn't matter if you're a guy or a gal and you come into my home and you're making moves on me. You're going to have a problem because I've never been like that anyway. I'm not flirtatious. I'm sweet. I'm kind and I'm loving up to a point. But when people try and uh, make a correlation with the scriptures and, and make it okie dokie in your world, there's different mansions in God's house. Maybe that's a reason. Maybe there's a reason for like when when you have uh, boys and girls and even if they're twins, maybe you'd let the twins be in the same bedroom up to a point. But I would hope to God, prepubescent, that you would uh, separate those children or are you smart enough to do that, you know? In your world, from what I understand, whatever children see doesn't really matter. And it doesn't really matter in your life. And as far as a human, from one human to another, if you were being hurt and there was a straight person and a gay person, it wouldn't matter who you are. I would save your life and I would love you. I would feed you and I would care for you. It has nothing to do on the level of what the monsters out in the world are trying to paint heterosexual grandmothers that believe in traditional marriages for her granddaughters. And whether you believe that for my granddaughters, I don't care. Whether you look down on me because of how I feel, I don't care about that either any more than you care about how I feel about it. So why don't you just shut the hell up? If you don't want to abide by what is righteous and clean, and you want to take your chances with your health and your children, and their emotional and mental health, then you play that game, but don't push it on other people and don't pretend that it's a natural thing that is going to be for eternity and that it's acceptable in the house of God. You go ahead and pretend that, but you'll be walking in backwards on your knees if you think that. That's all I'm saying, and that's my opinion. But it's more than an opinion, and it's more than an educated guess. It's actually called, I studied the scriptures more than you did in different languages, down to their syllables and definitions, and I'm not picking and choosing the ones that are suiting me. That's what that's called. It's called, I'm abiding by what I know is logical on this planet for life and the enhancement of life, not the degradation of it. So look into the diseases that I just described. I mean, and didn't describe the diseases. I described the action that causes the diseases and um, I can prove it. So don't, don't even come at me with your, with your bullshit until you medically study what I just told you. and emotionally understand what you're talking about. Because if you don't know children that have been assaulted by older people, 
even mentally by what you describe as okay because i know a little boy that had a total fucking breakdown because he had two fathers and missed his mom but we'll we'll just forget about stuff like that and keep pushing what's not natural that's okay for you you got to live with what your decisions are as well as i do and it has nothing to do with hate so why don't you little fuckers stop your games period okay i'm done mike grow whatever just grow <laughs> you know anyway so I wanted to make that perfectly clear where I stand on that and why naturally personally it repels me and I won't be silent even in front of the person that's repelling me and I can still be repelled and be their friend and they'll love me and not like me right to my face too that's what adults do but if we can't get past that and say okay you can think it is gross you can tell your grandchildren why it's so gross and what you believe the almighty says about this and i'll tell my internal and very informed version and you tell your internal version and we'll be cool like that or if you don't want to be cool like that and you want to fight i'm going to win just come to my house i don't have a problem with that no matter who you are i live in i wish a motherfucker woods Not every day, but some days I wish somebody would just try it. They can all talk and you're safe. You're safe behind there. I live in Pine City, Minnesota on Tunnel Road and my name is recorded. If you'd like to come to my house, if you have a beef with me or think that there's some sensible, logical thing that you can explain to me why I'm wrong biologically logically that's fine but you won't change my mind even if there wasn't a book that you don't believe in a guy but you're going to quote from a book what the Even if there wasn't a book, I know in my heart and my mind what is right for me. What is right for me isn't living in a city, um, going to parties and socializing with bunch of liberals <laughs> there i said it. have fun whatever i'm conservative and i have that right mm. see the trees i planted or you will on my other video that's true conservation anyway way ahead of the game and if people don't know Cows and horses and those type of livestock. They could go to the livestock yards and collect manure and use it on the fields to grow crops. And there wouldn't be any greenhouse gas effects like they're saying because that's the natural mode of things on this planet. Large prairie animals have roam, roamed the earth and defecated and made things green wherever they walked just like Johnny Appleseed planting what they needed to plant and making the earth rich 
and that is the natural development of things. But I suppose if Jack and Jill elephant walked across the plains and went off to procreate, and Jack and Jack off walked across the plains to procreate, there wouldn't probably be much pro creating being done, but that's also a part of the agenda. So everybody can just put me down if you want to, because I probably won't like you anyway. So, and if I do, it is I'm only going to be on a human love level, not a close friendship of respect. So that's where that is, liberal. Like to hear whatever else you got up your sleeve for their Nazi regime, regime rather, because I was going to say Nancy instead, which would have been kind of appropriate. And that's the first word for Nazi anyway, spelled N-A-N-C-C-I-E, I do believe. So actually, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, like I told you, I got a little heated, but I, you know, I'm, I'm, I mean, I wrote just what I told you I wrote, and then I shared it. It's like, yeah, pick and choose the parts. I mean, don't go into everything word for word. I mean, God forbid you're a scholar of that and you would speak about it, you know, but you're a scholar of something else, but you must know it all. Like I said, your house, my house. Well, God and Satan got that deal going on too. And it's really obvious. Liberals in one house, conservatives in another. Yeah, seems to be so. So is there any hatred? If there is, it's on your part. Could it be on my part? Oh, yes. Yes, it sure could be. Bring it closer to me and keep yapping. Yep, it could get worse. Can I do anything about it? Yep, yep, I sure can. Right now, with my words, right today. Watch things change. At least this is what's going to change. Yeah, the division. The v division's always been here. No cabal, no dark cabals dividing me from my brothers and sisters. That's impossible. The only thing that's going to do is bring people closer together. You gay? I'm not. Hey, cool. Hi. Hi, gay. Bye, gay. You know, pretty simple, isn't it? Like I say, if I wanted to live in a clown show, that's where I'd live. Well, Celine Dion sick with a neurological disease. And uh, so is her government going to suggest that she end her life? Because um, I got through talking last week to a su suicidal teenager that I won't even go into um, the different things that has happened to this person and who was involved because there's many people that really say they they um, are out to help the children and they're missing a great big point of the damage that is being done to these kids. But And then uh, somebody else uh, is suicidal that and I'm, you know, I'm kind of having a little bit of a rough day, but not to the point where I'm not going to speak about the things that need to be spoke about. And suicide is a big part of the plan of what's going on with the younger people in the world. So, um, what, what might not bother an adult might bother a child. And yeah, it does. But 
then I guess you're not a guy that was raped by a man when you were a baby, so you probably have a little bit different outlook on things. But if you've had things done to you by adults when you were a little kid, even them looking at you like that is um, a very gross thing. And even seen in the world as really upsetting to a lot of people, whether you've lived it or not. It makes no difference what you've lived through if some little person is thinking about killing themselves because of the shit they've been through. So, who do I care about more? Well, take a giant guess. That is my topic today, standing up for what I believe in. And I believe in the traditional family, no matter what is pushed and who's going to try and tell me that I hate when I don't, I don't give a fuck what you say. I'm not changing my heart and my soul to suit this world to off on all that. And I really would not treat anybody any different in life, in any given situation, no matter what you little bitches want to try and push on people. I went to nursing school when I was 17 to help people, not hurt them. And every thing except for, while I, I um, most of the things that I have done to make money through my life has been helping other people. So this council session wasn't for the regressed and the lefties. This was for what I call the righteous conservative biological family minded type people. Or even, well, I'll just leave it there. Yeah. Even if you don't have a if you're not in a relationship, you still have what you believe, you, your wants and your desires in your life, and that's, you know. And what you want to accept for other people, that's up to you too. But I don't have to think like you, and I'm not going to stop at one verse in a giant book that is full of precautions on somebody else's say-so and not say anything about it when I've studied deeper and know better. Look it up. Is Sodom and Gomorrah the only place God warned his people about same-sex encounters? Just start with that, and you'll find a lot more. There's six for sure, but there's a lot more that actually touch on it. But if you're not willing to read, really deep into it and you're just going from what you learned in seventh grade you'll you'll never never correlate anything that you're going through or in this world with what I know to be true so, so like I say call me a hater <laughs> yeah. whatever I don't care because I know I'm not and I know my heart and my intentions more than intentions. My actions and my integrity is sound. I'm not insane. And um, I've got the papers to prove it. <laughs> Do you? So anyway. And that's kind of, it's not even a joke. I, um. I was lucky. I was smart enough to go and get backing on things that I knew that people would come at me about and have uh, top of the line people just for this type of situation to combat the bullshit that's going on towards the people on the planet and all their agendas, including this push for 
more than two genders and in the rest of the shenanigans that they're pushing onto the children. So, yeah. I'll leave it there. <laughs> okay, I think I think that's probably about it today, everybody. Um, I do love y'all. Uh, I don't care about your sexual preference. I do care about somebody teaching the Word of God in the wrong manner and using it as an example for your fucked up bullshit. And kids are watching. Anyway, everybody, I'll drop it there before. I mean, I think I've said it all anyway. You know. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Have a good night or day wherever you're at. I'm gonna <laughs> talk to you soon. Thank you. <laughs>